YouTube, what is happening? So this is from a movie called Dark City. Uh, I'll put a link below to its page on the Internet Movie Database. And this movie has got... I tell you, um, what's interesting... Well, you know what? Let me just... I'll leave that because let me just get to the, what the video is about first. For the people who haven't been here, I don't want to ramble too long on their ears, which I've already done already. But every night at midnight in this movie, okay, at, at uh, midnight, every night, the city stops. Cars shut down, everything stops, the people, everyone falls asleep. And there's these little demonic entities, basically. I would, they kind of, it just, I think they're artificial, artificial intelligence. I mean, they're in human form in the movie, but whenever they die, you see these little weird things inside them. So I think they're really just demonic artificial intelligence, which some people argue is what we're up against now. Don't really care about that, per se. I'm just saying in this movie-wise. I'm not going to get into that. And these guys, they go around... And they through that they inject into humans into man, everybody in the city they inject memories into their pineal gland right between the eyes. Okay, so every night stuff like this happens. See the stairs are getting wider, the hallway is getting a lot longer. The guy runs up here, and then he this happens a bunch of different times in the movies. You see how some things are disappearing while other things are appearing, like some things are dropping and other buildings are coming up. They do this a few different times in the movies. Uh, entire staircases will be there, then they'll disappear. Or then they'll show, um, like, fire hydrants, you know, appearing that weren't there before. Buildings going close together that were far apart at one point. And these demonic entities even say, I think, or there's a scientist that helps them. I can't remember which one that says it. Either It's either these little demons or the, uh, the scientist. They say they change the landscape every night. Okay, so this is your Bernstein bear changing to Bernstein bear as far as I can tell because they're talking about messing with people's memories. And I don't know if this is really why it's happening or, or why it's going on, but in the movie, because we're all asking, why are they doing this? This is the only explanation that, that really, and I don't know if it's true, okay? So what they're saying is that they're looking for the human soul, and according to them, they think they can find it through messing with our memories. Now, they don't get into how, well, how does messing with the memories lead you to the human soul? They don't get into that. But I think that's a pretty interesting, at least, theory, because I don't have any theory. I've read a bunch of different people's ideas and stuff, and I'm, I'm glad everybody's trying to put it together, but nothing really, to me, sticks out. And this movie has a lot of truth in it, and a lot of symbolism, um, This and it covers everything. I really would like to now, I've, I've recently found out that apparently I can do longer than 15 minute long movies. I was thinking about maybe knocking this movie into two parts and I would just sit there and watch it and just kind of share with you what I'm seeing because it has it talks about the formation of what we're on, um, where the water came from, which I'm not really kind of understanding, which I could use, a, I would love some help on this. So if you can get your hands on this movie, it'd be awesome because I was I used to love this movie before I ever knew what it was all about. And it's all about interdimensional travel and them trying to find their way back home. The demons that are in the movie, they hate, they have a phobia of water, which of course they would because in this movie they're in complete, in, in their control of this reality. They are a complete, everything happens, you know, they control this reality. So if they go through that water, water in a lot of times represents interdimensional travel, not just to hell, but to other places all, all together. So if they go into that water, maybe they know they're going to go somewhere that they don't have control of. And this guy, the whole part, the whole premise of this movie, besides them changing the reality and everything, is it's about this guy here you see, and he wakes up in what? Naked in a bathtub full of water, doesn't know who he is, and he's trying to figure out where he came from and what he's trying to do, or what he's doing here, just like all of us. So this movie is all about a man trying to reclaim his, his, his identity in a landscape that's continually changing, that's controlled by these demonic entities that are looking for the human soul, that are trying to get to it by messing with our memories. Pretty interesting stuff. And the guy tells him that he says, you're looking in the wrong spot. And he points to his, um, his pineal gland right between his eyes. He says, you guys aren't, you're looking in the wrong spot. So I'm not really sure what that means either, but it's just really interesting stuff. Like I said, I mean, that's about as good of theory of why they'd be doing it. I just wonder how that works. Because I don't know why else they would be changing the names of stuff around from Bernstein to Bernstein and sex in the city to sex and the city and people saying that Nelson Mandela died twice and 
all this kind of stuff. And you've had, I've also, there was, I even rec uh, reported on it, there was a news story, and I know the news is fake and all this kind of stuff too, I understand, but why, it was just a weird thing to report then, that they reported how an entire house disappeared in a town and people were freaking out. And I had several people when on that Bernstein Bear uh, video that commented and said, I, I remember entire buildings disappearing on me. I grew up and there was a, there was like a house somewhere that was right within my neighborhood and then one day it was gone and no it wasn't tore down I mean it was just like gone like it never existed and I believe that stuff happens so according to this movie they're doing it to try to find our soul I just thought it was pretty interesting stuff wanted to share it maybe that's why they're doing it maybe that's what's really going on I don't know just wanted to share it so thank you as always a big thank you to my subscribers and everybody's trying to put this stuff together because no doubt man with CERN they're messing with space and time and that's what these guys are doing and they're changing things around I don't care what anybody says so just don't know why they're doing it okay bye